in this video. So I came to the Gimalas wind, which is a wind turbine right here. You are gonna see what it's like to travel to Gimalas Island. If you take a close look at the world, some bricks are exposed from beautiful beaches in mangrove forest. Wow, it was beautiful. To a long pier standing in the ocean. So from here, there's no pavement. Today, I'll explore Gimalas Island and it all starts from here. Good morning guys, I'm in the Gimaras Island and uh, it's a Tatlong Puro beach and this is a really beautiful, it's kind of local beach I would say. It seems like you can go to the other side of another island. This is where I start my Gimaras Island travel from. So this is a kind of local beach, you need to pay 60 pesos to enter. And on the other side there's another beach resort, it's kind of fenced out. And then there's also beautiful glass land over there and then there's a lighthouse over there, maybe you can see that. So I'm gonna start my journey from here, so let's uh, get started. Now I came to the Mango Island Cafe because I heard the mango in Gimalas Island is the best of the best in the Philippines. So I ordered the mango cheesecake with the cafe latte. So this is gonna be my breakfast. So let's taste it. Mmm, that's really <laughs> good breakfast. So yeah, then I'm gonna go drive to the southbound and then going to the another beach and then going up to the windmill which is on the other side of Iran so that's my plan so please hang on with me all right so i'm leaving from mango iron cafe it was uh, good a bit, bit pricey though <laughs> so i'm gonna go to the southern bound i'm not sure if i can go to the mango plant nation by jerpa and then go on to the beach in the south by the way the road in gimalas island is so good so well maintained i know one of the other many cyclists here let's hit the road and then go into the south so now I arrive at the Gimaras Research Outreach Station. I think this is a place where people do research to make a great mango, I think. I'm not sure if I can enter, but the uh, gate is open, so I'm gonna enter. But uh, yeah, dog is barking because I'm a stranger. Oh, it says no entry violation. We just are not allowed to enter within this area. So we, I'm not allowed to enter this area. I think I need to visit here, I guess. Maybe I'm supposed to knock the door. Ah, oh, it's closed. <laughs> the door is closed. I think probably it's Saturday because it's Saturday. If you come on weekdays, maybe it's open. Yeah, but I think that's the mango plantation, I believe. So I'm gonna move on to the beach in the south. Alright, so it's 10 pesos to enter and I just paid and then I'm gonna go into the Kushi. Kushi, Kushi, Kushi. Lighthouse now. So now I arrive at the parking lot of Guishi Guishi. I think that's how we pronounce, but Guishi Lighthouse, and then Lighthouse is gonna go that way, I guess. And then there's a beautiful beach over there as well. I think I might gonna go there later. Alright, so now I arrive at the Guishi Lighthouse, but yeah, this place is pretty, pretty cool. It's not only about the lighthouse, but this garden things, it's pretty nice, it's pretty good. It's very Instagram worthy. So this place was built in 1894 by the Spanish people. And then uh, if you take a close look at the world, some bricks are exposed. So that means it's kind of Spanish colonial era buildings. It's pretty nice. Now it's kind of convert into the garden things, I guess. So the lighthouse over there is like about to collapse. But this place is pretty good. Very Instagram worthy. And also I like the feeling of the connection to the history. People just <laughs> pass by and just watch around. But if you take a closer look at it, there's a trace of Spanish 
Colonial Era things. I think it's worth coming here, in my opinion. All right, let's move on to the next place. So now I love the Tahinki Gilat Ko, but this one is much nicer than the beach I went earlier. It looks like a really local beach, but sands are whiter, and uh, it's kind of still under the development. I think government wants to pave this road, I think, to have access to the beach, or somebody already purchased it. But uh, this one is much nicer, much cozier, more like a secret place hidden place to me. All right, let's go down to the beach then. All right, so this is the Tahin Gingilat Cove. And then, uh, yeah, this place is really nice. There's a cottage back here, and the local people are swimming. Yeah, this one is pretty nice. There's also another beach over there. And then there's a lot of beaches around here. Yeah, this one is so nice. It's a very good place to come by, but it's kind of hard to come here. This road is pretty rough. But uh, yeah, this beach is pretty nice. It's a very secret place in Gimaras Island. So I'm leaving from this beach now, but this one is so beautiful. But unfortunately, this land is already purchased by somebody, owned by somebody else. So you have to pay entrance fee. I mean, you're supposed to pay entrance fee, but there are some women, like one woman collecting money from you. I don't know how much the entrance fee is, about 20 to 50 peso-ish, but she asked me 100, so I don't know. <laughs> so they are gonna be the result, I guess, here to enter. So and maybe yeah, by the time you come here, it's gonna be different, I think. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go up and go to the next place. All right, right now, so I arrived at Barangay Tando. So why I'm here? Because when I check the Google map, I found a long pier standing in the ocean, which is this one. So this place is not a tourist spot at all, but I just found this place and I thought it's kind of interesting to explore. That's why I came here for. So this one is a pretty long pier and then there's a mangrove between. It's kind of really great. I think I'm the only one tourists <laughs> coming here I guess this is a fisherman's village basically there's a fisherman boat over there it's kind of cozy I found this place is really cozy so it's going up to the house I don't know cottage over there okay so from here there's no pavement so I need to be really careful yeah what I'm gonna do is like just step on the I think center step on the center yeah I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be fine. Hopefully I don't wanna slip into the ocean. But it's, I think, fine as long as you hold. Okay, to so keep, yeah, continue working. So now I made it, made it to reach the hut, I think. Oh, did it? Center, center. <laughs> thank you, thank you. What's inside? All right, so this place is a marine protected area, according to him. <laughs> so I think this place is supposed to preserve the mangroves and the marine life over here. But it was kind of scary to come here, because <laughs> the pier is partially broken. <laughs> Maybe it makes more exciting to come here in the other world. This place is a guard house, guard house for this marine protected area. Actually, nothing special, I think. Yeah, no touristy spot at all, but it's kind of cozy. I think if there's a current area here, then maybe I can come and I eat. <laughs> so, right, there's an explanation on the wall, not, not the guard this one not the guard <laughs> this project is all about the protect and uh, reserve coral reef over there so that the fish can come and this project is a collaboration with university of the philippines i think the local unit at tondo try to attract more fish so that the fisherman can live on that so that's the kind of project it seems so that's the explanation on the world not not that one and this is a there's a calendar somebody's current <laughs> okay so let's move on to the next place all right 
Alright, so now I came to the Takkalong Marine Reserve. So this is the place where you can go to island hopping. But today I'm not gonna do island hopping because I'm alone. There's a mangrove plantation over there to grow and foster the mangrove forest. And if you go that way, you can take the boat to go to island hopping. But I just came here to just fly my drone to just shoot the islands over there. There's a beautiful island over there called like a Tando Islands. Let's see how the island over there looks like. Wow, it was beautiful. I just flew my drone over the islands, but it was so beautiful. It's like a several beaches attached to the mangrove forest, and it's so remote. Wow, it's so nice to hear a group of people, and I recommend you to do island hopping from here. So, alright, so I'm gonna go to the next place, which is Windermere. So, stay tuned. came to the Gimalas wind which is a wind turbine right here <laughs> and uh, from here you can see beautiful view. I like the way the wind turbine harmonizes with nature it's so a good combination it's so beautiful I like the way wind turbine stands on the homeland it makes me feel like a harmony between this wind turbine and the nature also here it's windy <laughs> Of course, but uh, yeah, take a look at the view over there. Wow, it's so great. Right now, I think I can see Bacolod. I think that one is Bacolod. Anyways, oh man, this place is awesome. So I'm leaving from Windermere now. Also, I need to leave from Gimaras Island because I need to go to Negros today. Journey in this island has been so red. Beaches are nice. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to visit the mango plantation, but what no one told me about is the road, road condition here. I found myself loving driving here so much because the road condition are almost perfect. It's so flat, it's so smooth. That's something no one told me about. I think quite mango in Gimaras is the best of best. I think the load of condition in Gimaras is also the best of best. And I was so impressed by that. Yeah, I recommend you to come here to drive. And I feel like no wonder there's so many cyclists here. That's the one takeaway from this journey. So like, if you like the content like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And then see you in the next video a piece